All right, today I'm going to show you how to draw a map of Michigan um, using your hand. But we're not going to just trace our hand because um, tracing our hand, it's going to make it look like a hand and not Michigan. So we are going to learn how to use our hand just to get the basic size and shape, but we're going to change it to make it look like it's actually a map of Michigan. So we're going to start by putting our hand on the paper and we're going to put so our thumb almost touches the outside edge of the paper but not quite okay I'm going to take my ring off for a second so it's not in the way almost touches the edge but not quite and then we want to make sure that our wrist is about where the bottom of the paper is not quite off the edge but almost where the where the bottom of the paper is okay so I'm going to be using a permanent marker to draw my map of Michigan you're probably going to want to use a pencil just to make sure that it doesn't, um, so that if you make mistakes you can erase that. I'm just using permanent marker so you can see it a little better. So we're going to start over here on the side and when we are drawing our map of Michigan we are going to start just a little outside of our hand and we're going to draw a line that curves in towards our hand in towards our hand and then when it gets about to our knuckles where our knuckles start, it's going to curve back out just slightly. So I'm going to turn my hand so you can see a little better. Curve out just slightly. And then it's going to curve back to touch the corner of our pinky. Alright, so then I'm going to move my pinky over so it's out of the way. And I'm going to make a little line that comes in. And it's going to make kind of a W shape because there's a little um, peninsula, in, there's a little bay with a peninsula there. And then we're going to draw that line so it comes up just a little bit further and curves in just a little bit. And then we're going to do another kind of stair step but a little bit curvy stair step up and over. You can see I'm almost touching this finger now. And then we're going to draw up and curve around. Okay, so now we have half of Michigan drawn and I can actually kind of move my hand over now so that my middle finger is in line with the top of this. And we're going to make it so that the next part comes over a little bit. It's going to curve down and out past my hand like that. There's going to be a little kind of C shape that goes in and back out. And then it's going to go out a little bit further and go down about almost just a little past my knuckle. It's going to curve back in towards my hand just a tiny bit. Down in towards my hand a little bit. And then it's going to go down kind of like into my thumb area but it's going to go down and almost touch my thumb but not quite. And then it's going to curve back up. It's going to be kind of a boxy shape. It's going to curve and then stop just a little bit before the end of my thumb. And then the, the thumb on Michigan is going to actually have a straight line that comes down. Just like that. Just a little ways. Um, just about in line with my knuckle again. And then it's going to curve out just a tiny bit and back in like that, like half of a triangle. I'm going to do a little curve in and out and in again. And then one more curve that comes down to about my wrist. And then we have our lower peninsula. And we need to finish it off. We actually need to make this come out just a tiny bit more. And then we're going to make stair steps. So we're going to start here. And we're going to bring our line over, do a stair step up, and another line over to connect. So there we have our lower peninsula. The next thing we need to do is make our upper peninsula. We need to make what it's going to look like in the UP. 